Yeah, you said something uh, there, and and I had this problem with real estate. Like at some point in the transaction, people don't they don't hear from you as much because somebody else is doing the job. But they were like, "Oh, you need to toot your own horns." So sometimes I gotta say, "Oh, I was doing such and such for you. That's why you didn't hear from me." So I was wondering, do should men not to say like toot their own horn, but just kind of gently remind them, like, "Oh, wow, did you like when I did take care of that grandma thing for you?" Like, should we? Should you guys say something like that and remind people what you do? Because it seems to get, it, it seems to be forgotten. Or is that just? I don't. I don't think that that's a part of being uh, a leader, though. I. Sometimes you gotta uh, remind. Uh, people. Yeah. Some, yeah. Go, go ahead. That's what you Sometimes you gotta remind people. I like. I would advise against it. But if the situation calls for it, if it's dire straits, you got to be like, yo, you, you forgot when your grandma was sitting up in that damn home for two months, right? In a, in a lazy boy chair because your family ain't work up the money. You know what I'm saying? Grandma's just laid there in a the chair, dog. Ain't no coughing, no nothing because y'all ain't got the money and I did that. You know what I mean? Some Sometime if it if it's a dire situation where somebody's just not understanding or taking you for granted because ultimately men as stoic as we can be one thing that we can't stand is lack of appreciation you know what i mean like that burns us up man you you go into a barbershop and ask any man if you if we don't feel appreciated <laughs> different things come out you know what I mean? man but but that that kind of goes back to to manhood and leadership you know, um, that's that's just one of those. In my opinion, that's one of those things that just comes with it. You know, that, that, yeah, you know, it, it it just comes with the territory. Um, absolutely, we we want and desire to be appreciated and, and shown that, but in many in many cases, uh, that. It, it just it just doesn't happen but that that's part of being a man that's part of being a leader um sometimes people will have the they'll have the face they'll be the face of the of the objective or the mission uh but they won't necessarily be the leader you know growing up uh, going to my grandparents house we didn't necessarily say papa's house we say grandma house we're going to grandma house you know what I'm saying? Even though Papa paid all the bills, you know what I'm saying? It was his shit. It was in his name. But we was going to Grandma's house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if went up to Papa and Papa, I want to get a. Can I get an ice cream cone? Ask your grandmama. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's. I, I understand it, and I, I personally feel the pain. I think every man goes through that at some point. Uh, but that's that it just come with the territory. Well, that's up to the women to appreciate the man. And I think that women also, they feel it when it comes to parenting. We don't get it like a, well, we got Mother's Day. I'll give you that. But um, we do a lot for them and they don't really appreciate it. But I think it's, it's very important that a woman, a good woman appreciates her man. If he send, gives you flowers, if you see him walking through the house, little things like he come to the door, you excited to hear from him, see him. And that's that's gonna go a long way. All right, I did have a question I want to ask the panel. Let's talk about societal pressure, our women condition to follow men. Does this cultural influence make them blind to red flags and so called leading men? I, I think if, if the women wants to be so uh, uh lonely and single than a motherfucker. Uh, they'll keep on following societal pressures. They they'll keep doing what everybody else is doing, and uh, and for that lady who isn't following the masses, she's not a sheep. She's more of a herder, and she leads herself. Uh, she'll end up with somebody, you know, righteous, good, and 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 uh, somebody who's going to really bring the best out in her. That's what she will end up with. But you know, they don't. A, a person gonna do what they want to do. Uh, unfortunately, you, we have a lot of sheep around here, and not a lot of sheep herders. So, with that being said, like 
you have to te- when you teach your kids of not to follow the crowd like my brain is just trained not to follow the crowd like i do the opposite every time so what you're saying when you lead yourself that's the only way if you were grown if you were brought up that way to not follow the crowd like to feel a little off if you're doing everything something that everybody else is doing that woman is going to be like you know what i know they're doing this but i'm gonna do that you know even just Something as simple as wearing a long skirt. I'm like, oh, is that in now? I saw the young girls wearing long skirts. I'm like, I mean, I've been doing that. But now that it's a trend, it's okay. Like, little things like that. It's like, we follow everything. Every hairstyle, every everything. <laughs> like, lines in your hair. Like, we a little too... The whole culture, we follow each other. We, we create the language. It's great. But sometimes, it's like, to be different is, 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 is abnormal. And that's why the good guys get looked over. Because they do have quirks. They do. They are different, but the girls are going for the guys that's following. But when you're like, when you're a leader of yourself as a woman, you know not to go for the follower type guy. You want to go for that leader. And just to be clear, oh, Jay, that's only going to work if you're willing to stand down, because he's that man has to lead. You can't be the leader and he'd be the leader at the same time. That's not going to work. It's not going to work well anyway. I don't think so. Just my opinion. So are you going, is that woman going to be willing to stand down if that man's that leadership type person? Because if not, you need, you if you're a leadership type woman, you need a follower type man because that's the only man's going to be willing to follow you. I think we're going to an extreme because sometimes when women lead at work, I, when I come home, I don't want to lead at home. That's not the, the goal. That We want to shut our brain off. We get excited when we get to shut our brain off when we're with our man. So when they said, leave it at the door, that's what we do. Leave it at the door. Okay, what are we doing? How are we doing it? Like, we just assume, because I say 51%, uh, 49%. Like, I give the man 51% control. I get 49% control um, because, and they was talking about, oh, that's way too much control. I'm like, well, if we're doing everything together and you get the final say, that should be enough. It doesn't mean I'm fighting you. It just means I have an opinion. See what I think. I'm going to see what you think all the time. And a lot of times when you are like trying to be cooperative, you go with what he says all the time. You just have one little problem here and one little problem there. But if y'all like, I'm the leader, I got to decide everything. I, you know, that's a, that's the issue. And when you look at the statistics, um, they said that I thought it was the man leading would be the happiest couple, but it really was the two of them leading. And that, that's what made them a, a happy couple. And I know when y'all hear that, like, no way. Two people they're gonna bump heads. It's not like that. It's just y'all deciding you have a conversation and somebody, whoever you feel like is more right, or you want to go automatically to man, that's fine. Yeah. If it's a problem, that's when we're saying, okay, now we just gotta, you know what? Since it's a problem, we're not agreeing. I'm just go with what you say, and that's up to the woman. But you can't force a woman to agree with you. You can't, but you could convince you can't force an employee to agree with you. You gotta get buy-in. That's all y'all doing when you're listening to your woman, you're getting buy-in. Now she wants to do it. That's still a leadership principle. But if you're like, since I'm a man, that's like you are a leader only in title. When you, um, there's another book called The Five Levels of Leadership. He's saying like the first le- level is you're just a leader in title. But that's because you're the, you're, you're the supervisor. But when people want to follow you, that's a whole nother level. That's level two. And so it just keeps going up and up and up. And then when you're creating leaders, that's another thing. So that could be the family. You could be creating leaders in your family. But if you, if you learn about all those things and you're like, you know what? I do want to hear what my wife has to say. Uh, I'm going to, I want her buy-in so she can actually do it when we're implementing. That's all. 